Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to the BNS channel. My name is Edie and we are again in my mobile office, which I find I do my best videos. <laughs> um, today I want to talk about building a house. A lot of you are saying, what, what does that mean, building a house? Uh, in accordance to direct sales. So we as leaders tend to find it very common that we bring people into our team that don't have the same level of desire and ambition towards the business. Is that not correct? So very often you'll find that you're frustrated because there are people in your downline, if that's what your business calls it, that just aren't working the business like you would or like you have. And it frustrates you because you give them the tools and you give them the resources and you support them and you motivate them and you lift them up when they're when they're feeling glum and all of these things which is I in term those as leading them to the water so I'm giving them all of the resources to get to that water I'm giving them all of the tools that they need that when they get to the water they can scoop it up right but a lot of people, what happens is they'll stand by the water side and not do anything, right? Is that not common? Is that not something that people tend to do? Well, I'm here to tell you that those people are extremely important. And if you're listening to this and you're not in direct sales yet, or maybe you're not even under my on my team, that you, the people that want to do this business as a hobby or as just something to tide over some time for you or maybe you just need to pay a car payment and that's it or maybe you just want to be able to purchase the products for you and your family and that's it right there are so many different levels of interest or desire when it comes to business that as a leader we need to be accepting of that and understand why it's so important. So here's where the house comes into play. When you're building a house, the first thing that you have to do is survey the land, right? You need to make sure that you stay on your land, that the land is going to be strong enough to withhold or hold up a house. It's not gonna sink into the ground. You need to make sure that you find the right people that are going to build this house for you uh, whether it's the electrician or the carpenter or the people who are putting in maybe the plumbers putting in the water and sewage all those pieces need to be in place and looked at prior to building a house right let's compare that to your business okay so as a leader you're going to go out and assess and survey the land you're out there recruiting. You're looking for people who want to be part of this structure, part of this um, uh, contract, okay? Um, and I'm, I'm referring to contract in a contractor's way uh, in building a house. So you compare that to the recruiting aspect, the hosting of parties, the recruiting of people, the purchasing and selling and sharing you know buy host join that sort of thing that's all part of the pre setup to building your house all right so let's move on to the next thing so when you're building a house the next thing that you're going to do is pour the foundation once you've determined and you put your blueprints that's all part of the, the surveying and the assessment and all of that you're going to pour your foundation now it's really important that that foundation is solid right because there's gonna be the weight of a house on there okay so the foundation as much as the um, mason will sit there and just go back and forth over that foundation to make it nice and smooth with a little bit of water and he'll just painstakingly go over that foundation to make it as smooth and as crackless as possible, right? So while that's happening, our purpose is that the foundation's never going to crack, right? The foundation's never going to shift. That's the 
mentality of a leader, right? We think those things. So what happens is all of a sudden now you get a cold snap in the middle of the winter and there's a little bit of a, a crack that shows up in your, in your foundation. In, re, in terms of a direct sales business, that foundation are the people, are all of those people that want to do just the minimum, maybe just a bit above the minimum, but they're not looking to build a team, they're not looking to grow their business, they just want to do the minimum of what they can do. You know, and in the Sensi business, that is uh, 500 or less, right? Actually, 499.99. <laughs> okay? So those people are very important because they're going to hold that foundation together. Now, what happens is you'll have people that fall through those cracks or create those cracks in the foundation. But it is our job as leaders to continue to fill those cracks with new people, right? So what happens is when somebody falls through the crack, that's when our frustration level comes in. They're, oh, look what they could have had. Look what they could have done. But you can lead them to that water. And if they don't drink, there's nothing you can do. You can't force their head under the water. Well, you could, but it's not going to help you any, right? And there are going to be some people that walk up to the water and turn around and go away. Okay, those are the people that are going to fall through the cracks. But you need to remember that that foundation of all those people, and you're going to need a lot of them, right? You need a lot of them in that foundation. Those are the ones that are going to maintain that solid ground for the rest of us to grow on. And I can almost guarantee you that once some of those people in that foundation see some of the success that others are having, they're going to want in too. And all of a sudden, now they're climbing the walls. Now the walls, and it's a pretty self-explanatory picture at this point, the walls are the people that are starting to lead with a team. They're building the walls. They're building their team. They're going up in rank. And as soon as they hit the roof and the shingles on the roof and the ceiling and the rafters and the attic, those are the leaders, like in Sensi, the directors, super star directors and superstar directors, are the ones that are sheltering and helping keep everybody in the home safe, knowledgeable, and growing, right? Because obviously the more people we have on the roof, the less leaks we're going to have. But do you see the importance of how the foundation and how those people that are only doing the minimum are really important to your business? Yes, there's going to be cracks. Yes, people are going to fall through them. But it's your job as a leader to fill those cracks with new people so that you can, you know, when you have a crack in a foundation, what do you typically do? If it's big enough, you'll come and pour some more concrete. And you're going to fill up that hole so that the, the structure maintains its, its um, ability to hold the house. So I hope that makes sense to you that building a house is very similar to building your business and that I don't want you to get frustrated when people leave your business, when people don't put in the effort that you would and that they just do the minimum. They walk up to the water and they don't drink. They walk up to the water and feel that it's more than they can handle so they turn around and go back somewhere else, right? Those people are important to your business because they're going to hold the foundation solid so that the people that want to build their business can. If they fall through the cracks, let them go. I'm not saying that you should, you know, if someone, how do you know if somebody has the potential to start climbing the walls? The reason that you know that is by what they tell you. If someone says, you know what, I have no desire, uh, I don't think I have a desire to be a director, I just want to sell for my family and stuff. The point that they mentioned being a director means that somewhere inside they'd love to be a director, they just don't think they can. Those are the people that you want to spend some time with. Right? When I first started, it was just a hobby for me. And my comments were, hey, if I, if I move up the ladder, I move up the ladder. If I don't, I don't. That should have been a key to somebody to say, hey, she wants it. She just doesn't know if she can. 
you're going to continue to give the tools and resources and support to every person that is in that foundation. What they choose to do with it is up to them. If they choose to all of a sudden snap and one day say, oh, I can do that, I can climb up that wall, it will be up to them. It's not up to you. You can't want it for somebody. Because if they don't want it, they aren't going to push towards it. Right? I have someone on my team, she's a director now. She was with us for almost a year and a half before she decided that she was going to do anything with her business. You know, there were months that she didn't even, she was purely minimum. And all of a sudden she woke up one day and said, look, I'm not gonna waste this opportunity. I'm gonna make this happen. And she did, and she's a director now, right? So there's gonna be people that wake up and say, hey, I can do this. And there's gonna be others that turn around and walk away. Everybody is welcome. Everybody is welcome in my foundation. And if you choose to build your wall, I will be there to lift you up. Okay? So that is building a wall in direct sales. I hope you found that helpful. If you have any questions, please reach out. If you'd love to join my Sensi team, I'd love to have, help you, help you lift you up into those walls if that's what you want to do. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you on the next video. Bye.